Hello guys, welcome to my channel. A few weeks ago, I did the review of an app called Drone Blocks, where you can actually pre-program your Tello drone to do autonomous flights, as you can see here. But today, I'd like to review another app called Script Tello. As you can see, the interface is very different. So let's have a look at it. So this is what you see when you launch the app. So let's go through all this from the top to the bottom. First of all, the top right corner, you have the three dots. You tap on that. And this is what's cool about this app. You can control up to eight drones. They call them slave plus your master. So you can run the same script on all the eight drones or they can run, run their own script, which is very cool. Obviously, I don't have uh, eight Tello drones to test that feature. I would love to. Uh, now you can save your script, you can load a script, and also you have your instructions. So let's tap on that again to close it. So we have, we have takeoff and land. Every time you write a script, you have to start with takeoff, obviously. And you, you should also finish a script with land. Then you have speed settings, move, rotate, and hover. These are in centimeters. Hover is in milliseconds. So the, here you can um, tap on speed, for example, and you can enter an exact value, or you can use the slider as you see here. So I'll put it back to 50. Uh, now we have the, th the four blue arrows. So this is to go up and down and to rotate or to yaw, left and right. You have the four red arrows to move forward, backward, left and right. We have the arrow key, uh, arrows here for eight different flips. We have the RTH code, return to home. A quick press on that, you will return to home in a direct line. So you have to be careful. If you went around a wall and then you put a, a line of code RTH, you will run into that wall on the way back. Or if you do a long press on RTH, it will do the exact opposite of all the codes you entered before. So I'm going to show that to you. Then you have delete. A quick press will delete only one line of code. A long press deletes the whole script. Then you have play your script, uh, pause and stop. Then you have at the bottom left corner script mode where you enter your code. You have sync mode where you can sync to the other drones. And you have direct mode where what, what you tap on the screen, the drone will do right away. It will fly as you tap the screen. And then you have disconnected or connected. If you are connected to your drone, your Tello, and then you have the battery status. So let's go back to script mode and let's do a script as an example. Now let's do a simple program here to look at how we can do this. So if I tap on takeoff, that line will get transferred to our yellow window on the right hand side. Uh, tapping here on the red arrow, we go forward 50. And let's do a rotation to the right. So clockwise by 90 degrees. Now, if I do a long press on RTH, it does exactly the opposite. So counterclockwise, back, and then land. If I do a quick uh, tap on delete, it deletes only one line at a time. And let's add here a land by tapping on land. If you want to add something in between a script, you just tap on, for example, on forward 50, and then I could say, okay, go up. So I'm going to tap on the blue up arrow, and then I have up by 50 centimeters. So you can insert in your code by just tapping where you want the code to be. So let's tap on the lead to remove that. So I'll show you an example here of a long script I did. So let's go back here to the menu at the top, load script. I'm going to load the two exercise room four. As you can see, I did a few, a few trials until I was happy with the code. And this is the code here. So take off, clockwise, up, hover, forward, and everything. One note I need to tell you, uh, if you read the instructions, they say that sometimes you have to put the hover so that the drone finishes a line of code before it does the next one. If you don't put the hover, uh, the drone may skip a line or even stop the whole thing. And I'm going to show that to you when I have my footage of my drone, of my Tello, doing this script that we see here. So um, we're going to um, go to the basement and we'll try to run this script. So I did 10 trials. 
you'll see what happens and then we'll have eventually success. So this is it guys, this is Scriptello. It's only around $2 on uh, Google Play. As you can see, very easy to use. I like this app a lot. And uh, when you saw my footage of my Tello drone, it's not that the app is bad, it's just that the drone, when my drone takes off, it tends to yaw counterclockwise by like five, even a bit more than five degrees. So it's very difficult to code a long distance when your drone is like 
moving sideways or rotating a little bit very difficult so the ad is very good it's just that when you do long distances the drone will shift sideways as you saw in my video so thank you for watching everybody if you have any questions as always put them down below i'll be happy to get back to you as soon as i can have a great day goodbye guys